Well, I'm out here uh, helping my buddy today. Uh, <clears throat> he uh, he needs my help, so he's busy and I'm busy. But I stopped what I was doing, come out here. I don't know how, uh, how many days I've got, but I got his machine, but I pulled my truck and trailer. So he's got the 415C. Absolutely love that one because it's got the carbides because it's the C style. But he's got knives on it. These things right here shred. So that I've got this up here behind the house and then right up in here. Depends on time wise. So there's a bunch up there that they want done. But as of right now, we've got everything cleaned up, greased, all the fluids checked. And then, of course, looks cloudy. And today is Saturday, so this is probably about a four or five day job. So, uh, let's see if I can't help him uh, get this job done for him. Well, got this uh, knocked down a little bit to kind of get the terrain. So I came up over here and come down. And uh, you can kind of see it just tapers down. Of course, you can see the mountain, down the mountain. So I went over this way because you can kind of see the layout by the the way the, the stuff looks. Then decided I'd wrap up some of this uh, nice good stuff like this. So I'm going to have to go back to the truck. It's all wadded in there. There's a few pieces I can get out, but it's all tangled. So I ain't got nothing on the skid steer. But... Freaking dusty. <laughs> They're everywhere. I think it's been logged, so it's got a bunch of hardwood, so when you smack it, don't want to cut it. So I came that way. So I'm gonna get all this at the last bit. There's some more, that's what I hit earlier. So it's a, this was, must've been where they uh, de-limbed everything or something. Not really how I planned out today. I didn't even look to see if it's supposed to rain or not. But, uh, this is what I got currently going on. It's, you can kind of see, it's not hard as a camera, but I mean, you can see, literally rain just pouring out. But, uh, we're just going to keep going a little bit. It's keeping the, uh, the machine cool down. So, we're just going to go a little bit until it gets too bad. This thing got a wiper on it, so. so dusty so the ground's gonna soak it up but I've got to push as hard as I can today and all that there's stumps you can't really see but stumps where they logged it and all that a bunch of big old rocks so it's kind of hard to tell because everything it just it's all some places smooth and some places it drops off I'm just trying to go over little sections at a time.
you can kind of tell the machine is like this as you can tell by the house it goes gradually down <laughs> my buddy's like yeah it ain't much of a slope but uh, i don't know if you can tell or not it goes higher as we as it goes right in here i mean it's nothing but rock too rocks rock pile i mean look solid rock i mean those freaking knives are shredded more rock and now we got a bunch of stuff pushed up here that you can kind of see as, I, as i'm trying to go up it's sliding but the rock's kind of helping me kind of goes up yeah it's just if I fail I'd roll yep not fun at all well it's getting super hot this uh, AC machine don't work well the AC and the on the machine don't work that great but uh, I have to take a break every night because uh, if I don't I can open a window but I get all dusty and it just makes my allergies worse so I got the uh, the measure or the, or the level we're at 18 but it's steeper right here I'm not sure if it can really with a little GoPro thing it don't really show but it's 18 and on right back behind me is steeper you can kind of tell but get out for a minute stretch check the fuel shortly
<coughs> so this is what we got done today I mean there's nothing but rock big chunks I got that I kind of pushed it but it's just kind of wavy and uh, this right here was right over here but I was pushing all that coming this way and this started rolling so I mean it's a big one but I did knock off some of the the dirt come back here and mulch the rest of this stuff I mean look at that big old rocks next to trees and there was a rock pile somewhere over here <clears throat> so it's literally the whole mountain over here is nothing but hills but this is what I've got done <clears throat> kind of just capped it off because I don't know how many days they want done so I just did a pretty good area so then I'm gonna start pushing some of that <clears throat> today so I'm just gonna square it up come up here and then just kind of turn it up there and then if they tell me hey we want this more over here done than this or they want this done and just push it back so just whatever the customer wants is what they'll get. <clears throat> so this is what exactly I got done yesterday, all this over here. So in two days, this is pretty much what I've got done. Well, it's a day and a half, but. <clears throat> Some of that stuff, I was trying to go back and smack it again and just getting it knocked down. And it's a lot slower than it looks. Cause see, there's the house and it just gradually goes up. <clears throat> and all that, <clears throat> some of the stumps, so they make it harder on me to go in and clean up around the tree cause it's just so steep. So every time I'm trying to turn it, the machine slides. I mean, <laughs> these are completely shredded. I mean, these ain't really <clears throat> knives no more, they're carbides. Some of them, I mean, you can just tell. Absolutely rough. Especially the center ones. Mm. but <clears throat> ain't no sense putting new ones on there because uh they ain't gonna last when you're trying to drive it's just sliding <laughs> i think right here was like 19 and that's 21 or 22 uh grade so did all this pushed in a little bit more so what i was doing is trying to get on the back side and drop it down so i can kind of come back and clean up a little bit more all right so here's the uh <laughs> the teeth you can see all the little pebbles underneath it i mean these are absolutely beyond shot Boy, this is not good the line is starting to come out. My HM315 is, this has been going for a while. But I mean, there's there's nothing left of these teeth. Absolutely shredded. Yeah, these guys are gone. They're just paperweight now. <laughs> Look at this guy. Mm. Well, we definitely know we're gonna need some after this. But, I mean, this is steep and I just can't believe it won't show it on the, we'll see if it'll show it. Let's see. It 
it says 19 but that's not up there it's more of a no we're at 20 right now this is more like it right here a little speeder yep 20 and i'm pretty sure we're i think when i went up there i looked at it when i rolled the track it was like 20 negative 21 so yep we'll have some more to do tomorrow it's looking good though <clears throat> well we got the old uh 299 so since uh the other one decided to kind of you know stop working we're going to go and get this off get it greased because uh i try to grease the the main big pins so i'm gonna show you the before you know they got a little bit of edge these they look you know rough a little bit some of them are starting to round off so we're gonna see how these are gonna last but make sure it's all fueled up since i've been having fuel problems or fuel gauge problems it's gotten worse so i guess we'll find out i found me a friend he's a fatty he's fixing the mulch and i just happened to see him so luckily i didn't hit him i just felt real bad Whew. Just take him over here and I'm going to clean up over here. Put him in the shade. There's the broke down guy. This be good for you. There you go. Well, a little bit more. We got all this cleaned up over here. Now I'm whittling down over here. But this is uh, mid chew. So I'm gonna work till dark. And then I guess we're gonna try to fix the other machine. So, oh, that one's toasty. But I'm trying to knock it all down to come up on the bottom side so that way I can see what's going on. So as of right now, I'm just trying to taper, taper in so that way I'd be less I have to do. Because it's steep and there's a bunch of freaking stumps right here. So we're going to try to keep going. Well, it's the end of the day. And... Uh, it's been good because I got all that cleaned up over there and pushed. And there's a lot right over that big tree is right there. It's dipped from all the rain, but it looks like somebody went over with a tractor or something. Some type of equipment. This stuff right here is freaking hard to rock. So with dull knives, it don't work right. But uh, I went over when I got here. As soon as I got here, started mulching all that to see if it would start. Uh, it's acting all cattywampus now. But got more cleaned up. There's some big chunks. I'm gonna we'll take like that one over there, put it on the pile so that way he can use the tractor to push it up and burn it or cut it up and burn it. Uh, fix it, go over and try it. Well, it's showing an eight volt DC supply voltage below normal. And then a tilt cylinder rod in pressure sensor voltage. And then the right joystick and the left joystick uh, now right stick, left joystick position, all kinds of codes, left drive motor speed sensor, pulsing, blah, 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 left drive motor speed sensor two, abnormal frequency, pulse width, or period. Every time I turn it on, it's something different. So, and we've checked everything. Everything's good. So... And this thing's already been in the shop for um, electrical fire. And I think maybe twice, I think, 
I'm not sure, but the guy I work for, he he's had to deal with it before I got it. So when he got it out of the shop for all the, the final time, I guess, and uh, I started running it. So, and it won't move forward, backward. The boom won't lift up. So ain't no telling what's going on with it. So uh, this has been all day. And then when I run it, I've run it for probably about a month or so and the screen will just go black all of a sudden while you're mulching and it'll just make some weird noises and now the customer wants me to push 10 to 15 feet inside so i'm just gonna just hit as close as i can because he's already i mean it's like right here is where it's it's just thick right here on the edge so that way we can keep the undergrowth on the inside of here so I'm just going to push what I can and then, and then come back, pull this stuff out. So I got to go from this point over here all the way, way down there. And then I, on the other side of the house, too. Got to the end to the fence here for the cows and uh, pushed a little bit. I pushed more than 15 foot in certain areas, but you know, because I could make it look a little, a little cleaner. But uh, still got a little bit more to do at the entrance. I'm going to kind of, because it comes down to where I was mulching on the other side. So I'm going to kind of like make it, make it look all nice and neat. So this is what they look like currently. I mean, they are chew. They look rough, but it is what it is. But these these held up pretty good. I mean, it was now day and a half of mulching. I mean, it's it's done a lot better than the, the ones on the other machine which is still down so it's all dusty Shoot. Shoot. dusty you see how dusty it is well got that other side done other side over there nice imagine what the air filter looks like but yesterday i cleaned a little bit more i found a tree stand right there luckily i didn't hit it ain't no telling how expensive that thing is but now i'm going all the way down here to the fence i'm gonna push back 15 feet which I'm just gonna come in here and just kind of cut it and just kind of go back and forth because I don't want to hit this fence because uh, it's got six rolls of uh, barbed wire. Kind of check it for stumps too. Just kind of a quick glance. Most of it looks just easy thin brush. So he wants to go all the way down to the fence. So that way we can call it quits after this this should take about 40 minutes or less shouldn't take long being brush and pretty much nothing really
well, I got moved after you can kind of see it. Man, look how clean that is. I cleaned it all the way down back behind that barn and then went down there and then I got moved. So, um, I'll show you, um, like the entrance of it. It was like a small gate like that, like that little red one right there. And all I did was just went around there and cleaned it up a little bit. So we're gonna get the machine. I usually blow it off, but I don't feel good right now. So I'm just trying to hurry up and get home so that way I can relax. So I've been on this job since Saturday and today is Tuesday. Yeah, yep, started Saturday and then the machine went down and all that good stuff, or his machine went down. So I'm tired and wore out. So I want to get to the house and uh, sit down and relax. So, but I'll show you uh, that little spot I had. It's dirty, so when I go down the down the interstate, it should clean it up. This is where I came with the the mulcher. Kind of see a little bit. We'll stop a minute. You don't hurt nobody. Ain't nobody really comes down here. As soon as I say that, ten people come over here. But this is where I came over here. I didn't have my GoPro. I stuck it back in the truck, thinking I was done. But pushed up there a little bit. They just said clean it up a little bit, so that way they can come in here and clean up. So looks good. So that completes this. Oh yeah.